using the email as attachment option. In NAV, there are many different ways of extracting information from the program to allow you to send it to other people in different formats. One of those is to email a particular page as an attachment. Here I'm on the customers list page. If I have a look at the application menu, under print and send, I have different options. One of these is email as attachment. If I click this, it will take the entire customers list page that I was just viewing and attach it as a HTML attachment to an email ready to send out. If I have a quick look at that actual attachment, it will open up in my web browser and then I see the list of all the customers as it was on my page in descending order by name from Z to A. Now this uses a default style sheet. You can change this style sheet to present the layout differently. This email is now ready for sending out. If I want to change the sort order before I send it out, I can simply resort the columns so the names are now sorted from A to Z. Then if I simply go to the application menu, go to print and send, email as attachment, the new version of the list will be attached to an email. If I double click to view the new attachment, this is now sorted A to Z. So whatever state the page is in, when I click print and send, it will send a copy of the page in that state. If I filtered it or sorted it, it will go as it is. If I just select one line, it won't make any difference. It will still send the entire page. So if I just want to send the customers that are beginning with M, for example, then just highlighting like this would not work. What I would need to do is apply a filter to the page. So to filter this page before I send it, I would go to the filter pane, choose to filter by name, and then if I choose capital M and star as the filter criteria, this would mean that anything that starts with capital M and is followed by any combination of characters would then be shown once I apply the filter. Now I have my filtered list. If I go to print and send and then email as attachment, it will attach only what I currently see in this filtered view. If I open up the new attachment to check, we see it is just the filtered version of the customer's list. If I clear my filter, and go to a different page, the sales orders list page, exactly the same applies here. So if I want to send the list of all the sales orders unfiltered, I would go to the application menu, print and send, email as attachment. This will attach the list of all those sales orders to an email ready for sending. If I double click the attachment to review it, I see the sales orders exactly as they were on screen. Again, like before, I may want to refine this list by sorting or filtering it, maybe to just show the sales orders from a particular company. To do this, I can use two methods. I can go to the filter pane at the top, choose the sell to customer number, and enter 20,000 to see just the orders from that customer. Or, as a slight shortcut, I can find the customer number that I want within the list, right click it, and choose filter to this value, which has the same effect and filters the list of sales orders. So now if I go to the application menu, print and send and choose email as attachment, what I will now have attached is a HTML list of just the sales orders from customer 20,000. Any page can be attached and sent as an email. For example, a customer, a customer may request a copy of a particular sales order. So here, if I go on the card page for a specific sales order, I can also go to the application menu, print and send, and choose email as attachment. And this time, one specific sales order has been attached as a HTML document. The file name of the attachment automatically includes the document number of the sales order. And if I double click it to view it, I will see all of the fast tabs that exist on the sales order grouped. So all the details in the sales order is here. This email is ready for sending out. Finally, I can do the same kind of thing with posted sales invoices. I could have an inquiry from a customer, say customer 10,000. If I right click and filter to that value, I will see all of the posted sales invoices for just this customer. And we have three invoices. 
to send one specific invoice, I double click to go onto the card page for it. Then I go up to application menu, print and send, and send it as an attachment. This gives me the actual invoice with all its fast tabs as a HTML attachment.